Hello, welcome back to our little farm here in East Texas. Today, it is a windy day and winter is still here, but the sun is, the sun is coming and we have to move things around. We're, we've got a new fence. We're moving a new poultry fence. We're gonna add and make sure that the, uh, the solar panel that electrifies it is working. So we're gonna work on that today. Our first job was to uh, shovel some of the mulch from the middle to the outside areas. We've had a lot of rain and there's a big boggy area along the fence. So we're just filling that up with mulch before we move the fence. So we've bought a new poultry fence. Done. So we've attached the new fence to the old fence and extended their area and Zach's just installing the solar panel thing and we're going to test and see if it's still working. I'm hoping it's still working but it has been a while since we've used it. So we've charged it to the power point inside and we're about to try and see if we're going to get full charge out of it. Sorry, we're just trying to remember how to put it all together. This way, if it's the, the ground's pretty muddy too, so make sure it's not down touching the ground. Yeah, I think that that peg might be too low to the ground. It's so muddy. Yeah, it's in the mud, Zach. It's fully in the mud on this side. The clip, I mean. Molly just got Molly just got hit by the hop, the hop fence. Molly, Kate, Ty, Caleb, don't leave them be. They'll yeah. sort it out. Leave them be. So what is it supposed yeah, to hit on? What's it. ideal? Uh, one twenty-five. Yeah. So we're not nowhere near maximum where we well, need to be. Uh, I don't know that that would be an issue. I'm wondering if there's sticks around the boundary. Ty, go check for sticks around the boundary. Caleb, Can go check for you? sticks. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. No, no, not yet. What what is, he's testing all the way down. What are you getting, Zach, all the way down? I've got 2.5 on the corner. I've got 3.3. I've got 
don't, don't, don't touch the fence, Gracie. Don't All, right. Touch All right, so Zion, uh, Baba, this fence off. is turned on electric, okay? So don't touch it. Okay, so we are only running on about two and a half and should we want to get it up around five at least. So we've checked around the boundary for sticks that might be interfering. What's it on now? It hasn't made much difference. Hmm, that's still low. Do you have any ideas? Okay, turn it um, yeah, No, turn it Zach, off. Zach, don't. Do you that's have any ideas? ideas. Do you have any ideas of why it's running low, you cheeky monkey? Hey, this is Caleb. We don't watch Gracie. You get that by the fence. More like Caleb. Well, it is a few hours later, and I am heading down to check the fence with my little cup of hot English breakfast tea before I get dinner on the table. I've got some soup on the stove, so. We'll see how this charge is doing. Now the good news is all the chickens, the chucky lookers, seem to have stayed in. So even um the golden rooster. And he always gets out. He he has wings to fly all the time. Yes, Buffalo Boy usually gets out and he's still in. So that's saying something. Oh yeah, they did. They just got us up. Let's see how much that was. 2.3. That's pretty low still. Hmm. Come on, get a radar. Let's see. 2.3. Hmm. That's low. But it must be enough to where it's actually. Yeah, they're all on 2.3. Yeah. Okay, so we really want it higher than that. Two, but it's obviously two. enough where that it's at least keeping them in still so that's something and the dog got a boot off it didn't she yeah molly got a boot so my husband when he got home from work he did put a grounding rod in where did he put that he dad found this rod which he's put in there just one out we found in the shed which is supposed to help and but i don't think it really made any difference at this point to the so I'm not sure, we're not really sure if there's um, a fault in the fence because one of the fences is, you know, a good season and a half old. Um, the second fence is brand new or if it's maybe the, the energizer itself or it could be, yeah, it could be the um, interference from something along the fence line. We've checked for sticks and things that might be interfering and haven't found anything. So we'll have to keep investigating over the next couple of days and see if yeah, we can find an answer. Well, that's true. That's true. 
Well, hopefully they'll start to respect the fence because they haven't been respecting the fence. Hey mom, I was wondering if you could um, show me the uh, saplings that you wanted me to cut down. Oh, yeah, that is a job we need to do in ready for the garden, but the sun's, we're going to lose daylight. It's heading down. Maybe that's a job for tomorrow. So we're going to go and check the sun, uh, it's like... <laughs> Two thousand. Imagine, yeah, the sun. That would be a big that would charge. Be like Three billion. Oh yeah. But we will continue to. Oh my! Did you just get that? No. I, it touched it. It did touch it. I, I, my my hand. It touched this long one. It touched this long one, and when I, I my head just went like. <laughs> Nearly gotcha. It so we will continue touching. to investigate and try and get the the amps up on this fence and we'll see how we go but hopefully hopefully this will work because the plan is the reason we've um, got the extra fence and getting prepared is we will be moving the chickens off of the um, the oh, my, wrong way the mulch area over here because we'll be prepping that for the spring garden and we'll be moving the, the chooks back out onto pasture so they're lovely in the new garden yeah, they like this fresh grass right here. So thanks for being with us, and we'll see you on the next one. 3.1.